Ladies and gentlemen, for the second time, I get to interview the amazing Emma Chilibu, writer, vlogger, blogger, presenter, actress, musician, so many things. The one, the only, the amazing Emma Chilibu. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mob Music Network. I am DJ Shea. It's me. And this is Emma Chilibu. That's the yeah, girl over me. there. Uh, Emma Chilibu, yes. I've actually wanted to interview Emma since I first met her. Even before Emma done anything, I actually wanted to interview Emma. And I said it to Emma because I went over to Romania for a month, the whole of August, 28 days in August, I actually spent in Romania. And I met this amazing young lady who will now have the privilege of actually working alongside. And believe you me, it is a privilege. Hello, Emma. Hello, Hello, Emma. Doing an Emma, doing the host with the most here. Hello, Emma. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I am good. I am good. I am so happy to be actually officially interviewing you. Oh, uh, I remember you mentioned uh, the month of August that you spent here. Well, I actually wanted to say that it was it was one of the most amazing months I've ever spent. So, yeah, wow, yeah, you learned how to play Rennie and uh, you learned how to play um, a lot of card games. Yeah, I did, but it, I don't think it was the games. I think it was just a company. I know. I understood what you meant, but thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. And that is why I actually wanted to interview you, because the first time that I met, met you, um, well, it wasn't the first time that I actually met you, but it was the first time that I sat down beside you and talked. And I was actually in the firehouse, and it was just you and me, and we got talking about a few, a few things, and I realized that I was sitting beside somebody very, very special. I discovered that Tiana wasn't the only special person in your family. And as an actual fact, as that was the beginning, and as the month went on, I actually discovered that I was spending a month with the most amazing people. Even your dad, like, you know, even your cat and dog seem special because they're just, they're all up to their antics and I totally, totally enjoyed my stay. And thank you so, so much for having myself and Chelsea there with you because it was like, it was a beautiful experience for us too, one that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. Uh, I'm very happy you came because uh, you said you realized you were staying with a, a family of special people, which is very nice of you, thank you, but uh, while uh, during the month, but I actually realized I was going to stay with the, uh, uh, some with some very nice people and special people before the month, so. Yeah, did you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you got what I was talking about. That doesn't I think, matter, Emma. I, I think. Yeah, I, I was. I was talking about you and Chelsea. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, we are. We well, thankfully we did get to know each other before we come over. You and Chelsea became great friends, and that's amazing. But down to business, I am interviewing you today, which. I kind of like, I want to interview Jaden Riley as well, again, because I, I don't think I actually interviewed Jaden Riley. I think it worked out the other way around that Jaden was supposed to interview me and I did actually end up interviewing her, but it was actually on her show where she was supposed to be interviewing me. But that's another long story, you know? Oh. So I'm going to try and get it right this time at least let me be interviewing you because that's the most amazing thing. When I first met you, I realized that you were capable of anything. Oh, but the you. but the one thing that I found you the most capable of was making subjects that most people wouldn't consider touching um, easy to talk about, and that is a great gift, um, and 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 not boring. You know, subjects that you would find boring and you'd want to run away. And I wanted to run away from a lot of subjects in my life. Did you actually encourage people to sit down and talk about things that they wouldn't normally like talking about and make them interesting to talk about rather than have an argument or, or it's more of a debate and it's more of a conversation than, you know, uh, people who want to sweep things under the carpet or don't want to discuss certain subjects, you know, like... Or if this, like, you know, you get it in men, like if they support one football team, they don't want to discuss the other football team. They only want to discuss their football team. And if you're not willing to talk about their football team, then don't talk to me at all. You know, that sort of thing. If you understand what I mean. Yeah, I understand it. Thank you. That's very okay. nice. Tell me though, before we get into all that, like, I know you and I've known you now since I've known you now over a year, because actually we, we kind of all got to really get to know each other. I don't know. Um, well, it was it was it was just before Tiana's birthday last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we 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 got we we did talk a lot um, before we went to Romania. But I actually only got talking to you when I hit Romania. And 
one thing that I am curious about, when, when for you did you discover that you wanted to write and that you wanted to be uh, not in the limelight, but that you were, were quite prepared to step into the breach and be that little bit different than other people? Um, uh, I've never seen myself uh, writing as a child. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I've never considered this option. Uh, but as time uh, has passed, I discovered I love reading. And then uh, I discovered actually like uh, writing stories. And then uh, I'm not really sure how I took the courage and wrote my very first article, but it felt amazing. And then I just wanted to write more and more. And now I have my own website. Yes, we'll get to that very soon. Actually, I haven't wrote that down either. <laughs> but all links to uh, Emma's websites and um, platforms will be in the description. And we will talk about it because basically it's a flogging website. But we I want to get to that because Emma is so much more. And actually, this website is only beginning and it probably will be my main topic. Okay. Because let's face it, you only started it just coming into Christmas. And it's kind of like typical of Emma because I'm a kind of Emma's PR man because that's my job in the Mob Music Network to advertise and keep things going and pr introduce radio shows and play people's music and get them shoulder videos and get them seen and heard. And like the funny thing was about it, Emma decides to launch her website right when I'm on holidays and she decides to even launch a few videos and a great article which we will be discussing later as well. So thank you, Emma, for that. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, timing is everything in this business and you learn that as time goes by. But uh, yeah, you weren't just interested in writing articles because you didn't actually start writing articles. You actually started writing songs, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, but I i don't know, I think uh, songs uh, tell stories, but I've never actually seen writing songs the same with writing articles or stories. Yes. Uh, even though uh, what I love doing the most um, uh, when writing uh, songs is uh, writing the lyrics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I suppose I think I understand what you're saying. When you when you write a song, you're trying to get a message across, but it's kind of you're getting you only want to get a message across. Whereas I know I've noticed one thing about your writing articles, which makes me for me. Your article is much more interesting is you are actually willing to step into the breach and say this article is about a subject that nobody wants to talk about or this article is about a subject that everybody wants to talk about. But here I actually have a solution, you know, or here's my idea on, on how we can deal with this or how we can even enjoy this more or whatever. And that's what I love about your writing. Your writing is not just, you know, you um, making it interesting to read, but you actually discuss the subject in depth. Uh, very much in depth, you know, it's not just a short paragraph, it's it's pages, which will leave somebody with answers. I hate when you read something and you don't have any answers at the end of it, you're there. Well, okay, I agree with you, but like, we're no step closer to a solution, you know, whereas you like to give, well, you know, if you want to take a step closer to solution, here's my idea, you know. Actually, what I think, uh, the reason why I do this is because I don't want to, as you said, I don't want to leave people with uh, answers. I want to uh, answer all the, with, I don't want to leave people yeah. with questions. <laughs> I want to answer all the questions uh, they might have or they might be thinking of uh, while reading my articles and what I write. I'd like to point out that Emma Chilibu just turned um, 14. 14 and like it's, it's, when I was 14, I got my first part-time job and I think it was picking eggs, grading eggs and packing eggs. Wow. And you're, you're there, here you are with your own website. And it, more importantly, it didn't, it's, it's, it all built up to this new website. And I'm very, very excited about this because I've also had the privilege, privilege of working with another great writer. Now, I, I'm not going to mention her name publicly. But I am going to say that most people that know the Wee Witch know she writes. Now she writes under another name. She's what you call a ghost writer because she uh, totally wants to stay out of the limelight, doesn't want to be famous, kind of like for whatever reasons. And <clears throat> I've never seen her as excited about anybody as what she was about you, Emma. I mean, like, I, I just forwarded on your article and said, hey, read this and tell me what you think. 
And like she came back to me and she did not shut up all night. I was there, oh, I want to go to bed. She was talking and talking and talking, saying she has to do this and she has to do that. You don't realize how good she is. You really don't know how good she is. She's so good. And I was okay, got it. I got it. Like, you know, so thank you for that, Helen Stewart, if you're watching this. Oh, yeah. Uh, all <laughs> I right. just, she doesn't write under the word, the name Helen Stewart, but the wee witch herself. And I never seen her that excited about it. So, you know. I, I, I actually wanted to say that I think she is a very great supporter. Uh, I actually had a mini chat with her about um, uh, an upcoming uh, thing of mine, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but she really said some nice things about me and encouraged me to keep doing this. And I just want to uh thank her so thank you yeah actually now that we're talking about her, emma an amazing person she she's about 19 now and um she's been with us i don't know since she's about 11 12 and and all throughout that time she's amazing i mean she's over 1.5 million followers she is so i think actually she's nearly heading for 2 million followers but what about, never mind the numbers just i've seen her on individual cases encouraging people to sing encouraging people to write and and she's just always always so um supportive of anybody who has a talent and who might be less well off than the rest of us to encourage them to stay out and keep growing and say look you've got something here that's going to take you out of all this you know she really really does encourage people to be brave as well and challenge the system as such which we'll get into a little bit later as well maybe yeah well no wonder why she's in the um uh she's in these um this mob family because yeah. she's so supportive and kind and yeah. caring actually one of my one of my um over the years she's become a very very good friend and we've never actually met i will actually have the privilege of meeting her this year i've been promised so i'm holding you to that helen but i'm going to actually have a face to face with helen this year and it's going to be a great honor and privilege because um helen as i said likes to stay off she's you know she's she's a, a ghost writer i call them ghost writers that's what you used to call them years ago what do you call them now you know writers that write under false names aliases names yeah but i think uh they're still called ghost ghost writers yeah 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 and a very good one as well i mean a lot she done jingles yeah. for mob radio and she go away i'll do one next week for you and you'd expect this jingle like the rest of them you know oh not emma she comes out with nearly a whole play you know and then i discovered she could actually sing she doesn't think she could sing, but she actually can sing. She actually has a voice, like, you know, because one of her actual jingles, she sings it, like, you know, and they're like, wow, so great privilege and honor. But anyway, this is Furious about Helen Stewart. Well, I wanted to say that if you want to listen to uh, to her jingles, and you should come to tune into MLB Radio because Seamus yeah. promised me that she will put her jingles more often in the next show. So I will. Um, yes, get I to promise. Know. That's actually true. I did. I promised you um, that I would play her jingles, which I love playing anyway. Um, I think, she, and actually, I, I, if you ask Emma or T Helen for a jingle, she'll do one for you for any occasion. I'm very, very lucky at the mob music network the family mob radio especially is very very lucky that way very loyal supporters um that have been with us now for almost a decade and and really really good beautiful people beautiful people especially the ones in live chat you know a special shout out to our artists who stuck with us through all that time and now are giving back so much the likes of Jaden riley oh my god how much that kid is giving back oh Jaden, i actually watched your film last night and wow i know it's um what's his name what's the name of the actor she acted with um, you know, that sean... guy sean penn wasn't it yeah sean penn yeah. sorry sean but like you know Jaden's more Jaden's more famous on the mob music network than you were well you, you you were okay in the film but Jaden was much better you know i know an amazing film an amazing film it's very very good so so it's you you also play though instruments you do you do music and yeah i love music and i think this is because of tiana do you so so you probably wouldn't be as much into music without tiana is that what you're saying uh yeah i think she she made me um love music this much yeah yeah it's, it's, she's a very inspiring young lady yeah. um and she does and actually one of my favorite artists if not my favorite artist and i'm very very sorry she's you know the the only one that has ever moved me more than any sherlock is uh, one or two songs that the king himself sang and that is how good like she is there's also and when i say the king that would be elvis presley to you okay 
to the rest of the world out there, Elvis Presley's still the king, you know. But of course, Michael Jackson moved me with a few amazing songs too. She was right up there with the greats already, you know, already. And I'm, you may laugh, but you'll see in about 10 years time what I mean by greats, because Tia, Tiana will be, especially if she gets, an, uh, you know, if the songs are nice, nicely written songs, which w will, we will get because we've already wrote one nice one, haven't we? Well, you have anyway. <laughs> And now, how did that come about that you decided to write and now? That's, that's, this is another part of your writing skills again. Yeah, uh, so as I said, I think uh, song tells a story and mine for sure did. And I think I've said the story behind it a lot of times, but I'm going to do it as well because uh, you... I mean, I don't think you can find this article anymore because it was written in August, but if you look for it, you might find it. Uh, but um, the story behind it is that um, that song is not about a heartbreak or about a relationship that ended. No, definitely not. I was 13 when I wrote that. But the thing is that... Um, sometimes you feel like you should say stop or you should end a relationship and not necessarily loved ones but um you know it might be friendships it might be anything uh because you don't feel like you have a connection with that person anymore and then you just feel to end it and do other things. And what I did as the other thing uh, was end now. I don't know if I explained myself the right way. It did. So, so, so that's what end now is about. It's about uh, uh, that friendship, which was a negative relationship, which was a positive relationship probably at the beginning, which turned negative between two people for a long period of time. And one of you has ended it. Said enough's yeah. enough. Yeah, we, we can't be friends anymore. I cannot believe that it's getting dark during the... I forgot that the days are so short here. So I'm going to pump that up behind and hopefully the light will make it a little bit better for you all. Um, sorry about that. But uh, it's a beautiful song. Uh, I love the music in it. And of course, Tiana, as always, makes it particularly very, very special. Um, very hard song for young people to grasp, in my opinion. Which, But for the likes of um, older, more mature people, they got it. Well, they seem to get it anyway quicker than most other people's brilliant song but check that out on any check that out on our channel or check it out on tiana's channel i would prefer uh, by the way when you're checking it out on tiana's channel please subscribe the most important it's not the most important thing but if you subscribe to a young artist channel even to emma's channel you're actually helping that that channel grow which helps the artist to grow three ways number one confidence number two the numbers are going up and number three if you hit the notification bell you don't miss anything and believe you me you're in for a journey of a lifetime if you follow tiana and it's only natural to tell, for me to tell you that there's a big project coming up very very soon which tiana's involved and it is going to blow you away you know but we won't talk about 2022 just yet i'm trying to keep an eye on time and i want maybe a couple of interviews with you emma if that's okay um sure Okay, so I don't I won't make this one too long. We're now talking 24 minutes. I'm going to ask you a few more questions and I just want to kind of give the people a nice warm up to Emma. I don't want them to find out too much about Emma Chilibiu just yet. But if you can't wait for the next interview, I strongly suggest that you go to her new uh, website and she has everything there, all her links. If you can't find her website, which kind of be impossible because I'll put it in the description. It's emmachilibiu.com. That's it, amateurlibu.com. Oh my God, she must have a great, great manager. Either that or a brilliant mom. I'm, I'm very thankful for that side and I'm very happy I got it because I'm, uh, you know, if we're going to talk about my latest article, then I have to say I'm not the type of person to be indifferent and whenever I see something wrong happening, I love to talk about it and uh, be open about it. And that's basically why I started my website, because I want to touch all the subjects uh, not a lot of people want to talk about or that are um, fearing to talk about. Um, and I don't think it's fair because uh, people are suffering because of some of them. Okay, so 
That's that's a, uh, that's one of the reasons why I love and respect you, and uh, I have come to love you, Emma, because anybody that doesn't love you hasn't got a heart, because you touch everybody's heart, especially with your words. Whether you write them, whether you say them, or whether they're in music, it does. You you just have a very positive way of touching people. But seeing as well, let's talk about the website today. So let's let's stick to stick to the website, which of course was given to you as a birthday gift, I think, by your parents. So yeah. Right? Yes. Because I wanted it. I wanted it for so long, and I I know I can do something with it. Yeah, and the great thing about it is, is it's, it's an independent site. It is completely owned by Emma, so it's run by Emma. So there's no, there's I don't even have an influence on it uh, except maybe to say, hey, why wasn't I told you were putting up that? You know, so I would know. You know, so it's totally Emma. You know, so as it says in the website, you know. You want to find out about me here you know you want to find out about things here's here's where you come and i highly recommend it and i think it's going to grow it will grow in 2022 for sure because like i said it's going to be a great year for everybody and when i say everybody that includes you out there folks it's going to be a really really good year of course not everybody some people will have a bad year but they will be very very unlucky it's going to be a good year in general for everybody you know yeah now there's one subject that I've noticed um, in 2021, which has come back to haunt us. Way back, Emma, before you and I met, uh, Jaden Riley actually joined a big, big campaign. It was an anti-bullying campaign, and it was mainly, funny enough, against bullying in schools. Now, back then, the main problem was this Bullying was no longer just in schools because of social media, because of everybody has phones and ways of communicating. The bullying is now getting into the homes and it's actually affecting the whole life of the person who's being bullied. And as the campaign went on, we discovered that it wasn't just kids who were being bullied. Now it's been happening like we got more probably responses from adults and adults who were in their old age as well who oh i wish we had somebody like you who spoke up and and brought out an anti-bullying campaign and gave us a voice and then they got they felt brave enough to tell their story and it wasn't just the current students but past students you know and i discovered this year like that oh my god like maybe we need to respark this and i think i even mentioned it to you uh, when we first met you know, we actually quickly spoke about that. About, about oh, bullying. Right. Yeah, about bullying yeah. in the firehouse. We actually had a quick chat about it there as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, coincidentally, this didn't have anything got to do with me. And I was actually blown away by the last article that Emma wrote. Three reasons. Number one, it's very brave. I have to commend you, um, Emma, because it's a very brave thing to do what you've done. You actually have stepped once again, not just out, but you've actually stepped into the breach and say, no, this is wrong and we should talk about this. And if, if you know, if, if you need a place to talk about it, here I am. If you want somebody to talk about it, here I am. But here's, here's what I think about this. And you've already come out there and put your cards on the table, so to speak. You haven't hidden any cards. You've been honest and true and you've come out and given your honest opinion. And it is, of course, about bullying. So, hey, to all of those of you out there who were in Jaden's army, and I know you're still there because she's more fans than ever, we just might be starting another anti-bullying campaign here. But don't hold me responsible. No, it's Emma. <laughs> Emma Chilliview who started this revolution. But it never really stopped. Um, I know Jaden is still fairly active because you just can't stop until it goes away and it hasn't gone away. So I would like to ask you one question before or no, I actually explain to me why you felt this particular subject needed to be spoken about at this particular time, especially in your life. I see a lot of things uh, in the world. I see a lot of uh, things happening to friends, um, relatives, or any other people I know. Uh, and I don't think it's fair that it happens because, as I said, uh, bullying kills creativity, uh, lowers self-esteem, and this is not a thing uh, a child should deal with. Um, children should uh, be happier than ever and should uh, feel um, and should do whatever they feel like doing. Well, not bad things, obviously, but they should not um, stop from doing things just because uh, they're uh, fearing to be judged. 
and I think this is what bullying does to you. And as I said, I'm not the type of person to be indifferent, so I'm always going to be talking about this type of subject. Um, and I told you the reason why. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Um, I, I, I would like to elaborate on that if I could find my button, because the light here, I'm losing. I know I have it here somewhere. Oh, there it is. And I hope that's not made me too bright. I just want to brighten up the room a bit more. Sorry, folks, it's actually getting dusk. It's getting dark here in Ireland. I, by the way, I'm talking to you from Ireland. Eaton Derry County, awfully, actually, Ireland. And Emma Chilibu is talking to you from Bodoshani in Romania. So, yeah. big, big, I love that city. Uh, that's where I spent the month. Yeah, I really love that <laughs> city. No, seriously. And the Belvedere Hotel, I'm even going to give you guys a shout out because I was treated so well in that hotel. Really, really well. But getting back to it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing, Emma. I, I'm going to commend you on that. You've spoken to you've, anybody who wants to hear or see what she said, go to her website, read the article. Now, you've actually wrote articles for French magazines. You've wrote articles kind of like all over your, you know, you've wrote articles before this website. Will you be focusing just on your website or are you still willing to um, write for others? Um, well, I, I always love to expand my uh, ways of writing or just expanding, expanding my social network. Oh, yes, uh, yes. we will be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think writing for, for others is not necessarily a bad idea. It's something I will be willing to do, but I will be mainly focusing on my website just because it's mine. And um, I wanted it for so long and I dreamt of having my own website since I first started writing and discovered how nice it is and uh, how much I love it. And um, I'm going to post a lot of articles in 2022 and next year's and yeah there's a hope and um, will, will, will if other people wants to maybe write an article and send it to you would you consider publishing it for them would, would you go in that direction or are you just going to keep it all your own work well oh i have never thought of that okay uh, so so let's keep that answer for the next interview oh but <laughs> I, I think i think i found uh an answer yeah. to that question well if people want to get their work uh in the world or just want to uh publish something and they don't necessarily have a place where um uh, just because i know how hard it is to get your website down then uh i think i'm going to do that and just uh let people know that it's written by them yeah. So, so basically, judging what I'm, I'm not assuming that I know everything about you, Emma, because sometimes I still get it wrong. But like, <laughs> quite a lot actually. It's one of the reasons why I have Emma around because Emma usually corrects, recorrects me when I get things wrong. But the thing is, like, um, what Emma's saying is, if you have an article, send it to her. She'll read it, and if she she likes it and she, you know, she thinks it's 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 in line, she'll put it up for you, you know, and then you'll get your article re read. You know? Yeah, but it's still something I'm thinking of. So yeah, so she's so, yeah, she's something she's thinking of. Yeah. Well, it's good that you're thinking of that because, you know, it's it's an option. But I would actually, what I actually find very exciting about your new website, is it's you, and it's and everybody I think is now anticipating what is Emma going to write about next? What is Emma going to do? And you've already started one subject, which is going to, I'd say, imagine it's going to be um, immensely discussed. Um, hopefully we can actually up it. I'm, I'm thinking of myself because I, I witnessed it myself this year. I mean, I'm not going to like I actually witnessed myself people trying to bully me. I've I've actually witnessed um, as, um, work colleagues also. Well, I wouldn't call them work colleagues, friends, be, attempts made at bullying them. So it happens. It still happens, not just in schools or colleges. It happens in workplaces. It even happens. It happens no matter where you go. And people just have to be taught that bullying is just unacceptable. And if you're going to be a bully. Yeah, and it spreads everywhere. And this is it the does, saddest it does. thing. And one of the saddest side effects of bullying is, especially if somebody is bullied by a lot of people. And what happens with bullying is everybody kind of likes to buzz, if for want of a better word. They join the gang that's bullying the person. They think maybe it's the cool kid crowd, or maybe it's um, 
uh, an establishment that has decided it has the right to bully you if you don't do what it wants you to do, you know, well, then we're going to use bullying tactics and we're going to pro proceed to make those bullying tactics, is you then cause negativity. It's not just conflict, you cause negativity. And if, if that happens often enough, it spreads where you have, I mean, imagine, this is one of the reasons why I think we should always help each other and be positive with each other. And, I, and one of the reasons why I loved you so much, Emma, from day one, was I could even feel that. You were one of the few rare people that I sat beside that actually filled me with positive energy. And the day that we met, I was actually sick. I felt like doing nothing else but going to bed, to be honest with you. But uh, sitting down beside you for two minutes, I said, well, I ain't going to bed. I go, listen to this young lady. This is good stuff, you know? Let's talk, you know? And you just send out the good vibes. So if you want, if you want to, uh, if you're in a negative mood at all and you want to um, get positive, read some of Emma's stuff because believe you me, it will be positive at the end of the day. And if there's any positivity in it, it'll be found. That's what I love Thank about you. you, Emma. Um, we'll talk. I think, I think the website's going to be very exciting. I know it actually, and and I would probably keep it as much to you as possible and keep it to your work, you know. And I suppose if you discover something really special, it'll be cool too, you know. I can't wait for twenty twenty two to see where this website's going. I kind of knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was coming this soon. So yay, my friend has a website. You know, and that's that's another thing. Other people have come to me and says, "Hey, I started my own website. Oh, that's cool, man!" You know, and they show me the website and they go, "Yeah." And then I wave by. I'm all back to my stuff. But your website, I actually was there. I went and read it, and your your first article was good, which I think it was about Tiana, actually. No, my first article was an introduction. It was like an an introductive. Uh article i wrote some things about me about what i'm going to write and then the next one was about tiana okay right well i knew there was one about tiana i was there i hope i'm on the right website <laughs> <laughs> but i just loved it and now your third article has definitely got um me me thinking and me talking and and i just can't wait to actually we actually have a fight there that's going to be totally non-biased and looking for a fair solution to all issues and it looks to me like you're willing to discuss any issue or talk about any issue but particularly the issues that affect you in your life yeah and the issues that i can understand well right. when i'm when i'll be um uh older more mature yeah when i yeah when i'll be older i might discuss about even more subjects because yes. i will yes. understand them better but i don't want to write about su subjects that i don't understand right now because uh, i don't think i'm going to give the right solutions or the right explanations to the questions uh but i'm still going to talk about a lot of subjects and yeah. Well, if if, if if we had to reverse, re rehearse this interview, or and by the way, people, actually, even Emma says to me, you know, when I'm doing an interview, I normally have a list of questions because it gives you somewhere to start off. And I'm uh, there. Sorry, Emma, I didn't. I didn't get the chance because uh, actually, here's the proof. Here's the proof. I printed off like I have I have two of the first chapters, d ways of, to deal with bullying. I can read this out actually for you. If for those of you who haven't actually heard um of of uh, any of emma's writing i'm just going to read you a quick short short because the ink actually does go on that but the ways are different i think i got most of it you can actually see the ink running out look <laughs> you can it's see interesting. oh wait is that printed yes so ways to deal with bullying now this is after emma describes what emma does she she does, she tells us about the bullying and the bullying in part comes from teachers as well so she says but she also gives the solutions and there are a lot of ways to reduce the effects of bullying on you by the one that truly works but the one that truly works is the following one the only way you can heal your newest wound caused by bullying is to heal the ones already open if you don't have any of those, then congratulations. Your recovery process will be easier or bullying should not affect you at all. As a reference, think of this to repair a pair of jeans. Now, I know there's a lot of jeans that have natural holes in them because it's a modern design. Yeah, but, yeah, but... but yeah, but if you get a rip in a pair of jeans where it's not supposed to be and you move around, you know, it'll get bigger and bigger. And that's what Emma means by this. So you sew the hole and then you put the patch in it to prevent that from happening. 
And if you don't, so so I really like the way you said that. Or bullying should not affect you. Uh, think of this: if to repair a pair of jeans, you don't have to only cover the cut; it eventually grow bigger, and your jeans will be completely ruined. But if you sew it before before all, therefore you have to reach a deeper than the surface to find what's actually wrong. So, you know, the wounds are on the inside of us that we probably, and you know, that's, let's, let's actually elaborate that. It's, that's with a lot of people and it's not just with bullying. And this is all over the world. We seem to have a culture of if we don't like dealing with things or something bad happens to us, we bury it deep down inside ourselves. And what you have is you have a wound deep down inside you festering. It may be deep there, but something will spark it off. You know, something, it might get infected or whatever. Like, and, 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 that's, and, and that's just amazing. So uh, your solution is lay down, just you and yourself. Take a deep breath of air and think about what makes you who you are. Such a hard question, right? But if you're going through all of that, then it must be, there must be a reason why they think you're so special. Because as I said, the special ones are the targeted ones. And if you're going through all that, you will become even stronger than you were. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So that is just a little clip of Emma's writing. But just, I, I actually only picked that up to show you is that I actually did one having, so there was no questions, totally unrehearsed, which is probably why I'm going over time. Time is now, well, we've got 15 minutes. So I don't know, Emma. I'm going to recommend to everybody that they go to your website because I'm going to recommend y'all go to my website. Yeah. Um, and there's a recovery page, there's a recovery page. So Emma doesn't just write about things. She actually gives you her opinion on ways of um, solving the problem. Now, talking about 2022, Emma, I'm going to call, I'm going to say, right, ladies and gentlemen, that was DJ Shea interviewing Emma Chilibu. Yes, part one, because I want to do a few more interviews with Emma. And myself and Emma are actually going to probably do more live live talks and kind of we're going to do a quick 15 minute one which is all now seeing as we're together and emma's not in school so she's got a bit of time we're going to talk about what's coming in 2022 okay so yeah you, you all know that emma chilibu.com is the coolest newest website out there okay that's Thank you. yeah that's just it that's the coolest website okay now if by any chance, and it's just a miracle of a chance that you want a little bit of music or you want to see a video or, or you want to maybe catch up on any of the past articles that Emma may have had, you can always go to mobradio.org. Yep, that's another cool website, okay? Oh, by the way, about the things that I'll be posting on my website, I want to say that I'm going to write about artists that I think will be on MOB radio or that were and yeah because uh the artists on mob are well chosen chosen and they're very great and they're really special that's why they're on mob so if you are part of mob or just another artist that wants to grow and um um get recognized you can text me and i'm going to write an article about you yes and actually oh and any type of talent yeah like and it, I, I'm, I'm more than likely to interview you as well so yeah and actually thank you for mentioning mob music network but i would like to say that anybody who's out there that is an artist doesn't matter what age they are or what gender they are or what country you are from keep going um and and because people will recognize you for who you are as emma says and you will be encouraged in you know and if you do need help and you feel that you're getting a really bad deal, well, then contact us or just send your music to, um, well, Mob Radio at yahoo.com. And you are going to get a lot of support. Yeah, we will. We will we'll definitely play your music if it's good and you will get support and you will get your video seen. But that's amazing. I actually forgot to ask you that in the interview. Yes. So you actually are going to write about artists and you will probably consider putting up the occasional video on your maybe website. Yeah. Yeah, sure. because like you can have page, page, you can have a dedicated page just to videos and music. Yeah, and I, I can do a lot yeah, on yeah. my website. Well, it's a website. Like it's it's a real genuine full on website. I'm a kind of jealous, guys, because I'm still with Wix. Well, okay, it's like it's a private website, but it's still a Wix website. Like, you know, yours is actually built for you. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 
so cool like a 14 like you know as, as, as i think it's very very cool but you deserve it because that's how much faith people have in you emma and you. you give that to other people i've watched your interviews with she cheyenne i've watched your interviews with anna i watched your interviews with everybody la castello everybody you uh, you've interviewed i better mention talia because i know you're very fond of talia Emma also does interviews. She does the interviews for her her own YouTube channel, which I'll say you more likely be getting them eventually in the website as well. But she also does um, them for Mob Radio, um, which, by the way, we've given all the exclusives to Emma Chilibu's, uh website. So from now on, any interviews that uh, Emma does for us, you will only get on her website for a week or two, and then you will get them on the Mob Music Network. We're giving Emma the exclusives to them. And we're thank giving you. it your most welcome um, as a thank you for being the host with the most. So there's so much about Emma Chilibu that you do not know. She's the host with the most for our Zoom concerts. She's um, a great promoter of new artists and anybody who's 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 got any art she would promote. Yeah, and, yeah any art. Yeah. Ah, and you any talent the... because there are a lot of talent in this world. There are a it lot is. of types of talent in this world. It is. And uh, I want to say that I'm very happy and very thankful. I'm a part of MOB and uh, I'm getting the chance to pr uh, promote and uh, to host these amazing shows. And thank you for this opportunity. I'm very happy to be part of MOB. Well, we're growing together, Emma. You're definitely growing. I'm, I'm so, I, I want to say one last thing to the world. Um, Emma is only 14. And I, I, I have never met anybody as, as, as a lot of people, including myself, I've done it for decades, not just for years, go through life with a tunnel vision. You know, if they have a goal, it's the one goal. They can't see, you know, they go through life with a tunnel vision. Emma sees the whole picture, you know, and Emma sits there, and that's what I love about you. And you, you see from other people's eyes. You don't just see through your eyes. You see through their eyes. You understand. And I think you get that. I think there's a bit of that in Tiana as well. You can sense it in her music, you know. And yeah. and like that's what I love about you. And that's you spread the positivity. And you know, you feel you feel very deeply. I've seen you being upset over a few things, and I know you feel. But you you don't cry and sulk about it you say well let's see what we can do about it you know or you'll stand up and say that's not fair you know why what makes you think you can get away with that you can't and that's what i look about Emma Chilibu, folks warning to all you bullies out there Emma Chilibu is in town nobody gets away with anything <laughs> no more hiding in the dark okay so we've got about 10 minutes left i've got so many announcements but emma what do you think uh 2022 will be bringing to our network and your network you've already said you're going to be doing Oh, so much. What have you got planned for 2022? What's this next project that you know is coming? What did you oh. write about? Oh, so I am very happy and uh, excited to start my Wattpad account because as I said, when I first started writing, not articles, um, I started writing stories. And the Wee Witch really encouraged me to do that and told me some very nice things. And now I am very, very excited to start my Wattpad account. So I, I'm going to be posting a lot of um, information about information about it when I'm going to get it done. That will be in the beginning of 2022. There you go. What a beginning. What a beginning. So you'll be writing on that as well. So that's going to be great. Um, I don't know how you're going to fit in schoolwork, studying, because this girl works so hard. She goes to school, then she comes home, she studies again, and always on the go. I am so lucky to get uh, um, um, an interview with our Emma. And uh, very privileged that you actually um, give up two hours of your time. Oh, by the way, thank you for always coming into live chat as well and um, supporting me when I'm doing the live radio shows. Really appreciate you being there. You can also come and tune in to MOB and come in the yeah. live chat to get a lot of uh, support, nice messages and booyahs and everything. Yeah, so. booyahs, so the salutes. That's our salute on, on Mob Radio. Brought to us by Courtney Hadwin. And if you're watching this, Courtney Hadwin, by any chance, come back into live chat. We miss you. Say hello to us. You know, I know you're a mega star now, but come back to your adoring fans. And DJ <laughs> Shea is one of them, okay? Um, I would love to see you back in live chat actually courtney yeah i know you're mad busy but pop in 
But that's the girl who actually created the reason why I'm mentioning Courtney by name is Courtney had when uh, started that boo yeah, you know. And uh she she done it in a way that just it just took off like wildfire. And now it's just the norm on live chat especially, but even in myself and sometimes we do do it on YouTube as well, the boo yes, you know. It's an American snob. Yeah. You know. And she done an amazing Christmas jingle as well. She where she actually roared it out and I thought, oh my God. You know, amazing time. Amazing people. That's why I love doing it. And why I love doing this, despite the hard year that I've had, despite meeting one or two people that one would wish they didn't meet, it was an amazing year because um, I met you, I met Tiana, I met the whole Chile View family. Amazing people, you know, working with, uh, you. Yeah, working with wonderful people like, um, for the benefit of society, giving a little bit back. We're a dot org, a non-profit organization. And we're staying non-profit organization and everybody knows that you know and we've been around now 10 years and now we've got emma with us i'm very very confident 2022 is going to be very very exciting year we've got a project which is uh, naturally made over the last 11 months it should be out by the end of february which is going to be amazing emma knows the one i'm talking about we're all very very excited about this because and everybody else well not necessarily everybody else but um shameless mainly was giving so many hints like if yeah. you are going to be mind blown when you are going to yeah. see what the surprise project it's actually about. not it's actually not natural the way you haven't copped on now to be honest with you but anyway yeah and what i love about this one is there's a lot a lot of the mob family the mob music network family or mob radio family because a lot of them still call themselves mob radio i changed to mob music network because we've got that big it's more than radio now do you know what i mean now we have emma and a website it is her website but we love emma so we're, we're, it's going to be part of our network we're now affiliated with emma chillibu.com wouldn't that be fair to say emma <laughs> well I'm very happy to be affiliated with MLB yeah. Radio. Yeah, well, you are practically Mob Radio now, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Well, I, I, I feel very privileged and honored. She called me that one day. Well, but, but did I actually think I already interviewed you? Didn't I? I interviewed you in the studio, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, I did. So this is actually the second he, interview of Emma Jellyview. Yeah, when he, in August when he came here. Yes, yes, yes. And you caught me then too as well. That was a blue. She says, oh, I'm on it. And I was there like, went red in the face. I wouldn't mind only for like, it couldn't, no makeup to get rid of that, you know. But anyway, thank you so much for that. I'm watching the time. It's not, we've now, we've got seven minutes, but that's, I enjoy my conversations with Emma. I have to keep my eye on the time or we'll be here all evening you know and i really encourage you to follow her her website and encourage emma to grow because she's an amazing person and when one when, when we encourage each other to grow in positivity that feeds back into society you know and to those of you out there who are bullies why be enemies why bully there must be a reason why you bully why not hey, i i gave the reason in the article well, you did, but I'm giving, well, there's more than one reason, but I will say this to you, okay? Th I will say this to you, to the bullies out there. Stop. Become friends. Stop bullying people, because at the end of the day, you're going to go out and want a job, or at the end of the day, you're going to need to pay a bill, and someday might come where you can't pay that bill, or someday might come where you won't have the money, because what goes around comes around. And let's say you bully three or four people in your neighborhood. Right? Those three or four people stop becoming productive people. It's a known fact that when people get depressed and get down themselves, they become non-contributory. They don't actually give to society because they're not capable of it. They're afraid to go out to work or to take only low-end jobs where, you know, it's nighttime they're working or they, because they want to stay hidden, you know? So, so, so stop it because then you're actually ruining your quality of life. I mean, imagine somebody bullied Michael Jackson and he never sang. You know, or imagine like. Um, well, he was he was bullied in his childhood, but then he recovered from that and became the king of pop. <laughs> I take I take it you're a, you're a Michael Jackson fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, well, I think everybody uh, is. I, I agree. Yeah. You have to you have to have some um, a certain amount of respect, and if you love music, you definitely have to respect Michael Jackson because he was just. A great songwriter, a great music writer too. Um, 
you know, and a very imaginative imagination. So much so because now there you go. This is the talking about the special. A lot of reasons why Michael Jackson was picked on, especially when he was world dominant and famous. They couldn't find any fault with him. So because he, he kind of liked children and loved having children around him, they, they picked on him for that and started bullying him on that and picking up. And there you go, people. Just because you're different, that's what Emma means. You're going to get picked on. You know, if you're special, you'll get picked on. Michael Jackson was picked on. He actually, actually, some of the most beautiful models in the world of, of today were actually picked on. I, I was actually shocked when we done that anti-bullying campaign with Jaden Riley about the amount of beautiful people. Like you'd look at them and or you'd listen to them and you'd see how successful they ended up becoming. Almost killing themselves, almost dying because of this. And then they went on to actually change the world and make the world a better place to live in, you know? Yeah, because those that bully cannot stand the idea of others being special and um, yeah. having the um, chance to change the world. Yes, so so we can, you can take it that we're all anti-bullying here. So, but anyway, that's what I say to you, change, because believe you me, it's so much worth it. Yeah, and then your, your, your life around you improves as well, because at the end of the day, there's no reward in it for you, my friends. Well, you're not my friends if you're a bully, okay? Um, and friends don't bully, by the way. That's one of my favorite sayings from Jaden, like friends don't bully, you know? So if you have a friend that bullies, well, stop being friends with them. Let them know it's wrong, okay? And, and, and pretty soon if people stick together, the bullying will stop, you know? And if it's in a corporation, whether it's in a school, whether it's in a college, no matter where it is, it will stop. If enough of you say no, no more bullying. That's all you have to do. But you all have to do it in your own towns, in your own areas. You can't rely on somebody to do it. There's no Superman going to fly in and do it for you. Um, okay, Emma, I love this. Um, I would like to mention that we have major projects coming up in the future. Myself and Emma will be doing yeah, I actually wanted to ask you, what are the plans uh, for 2022? Well, let's start with the 9th of... I'm so glad you asked me that because we didn't reverse that either. Um, <laughs> we, maybe the next time we might do a bit of reverse rehearsal before we do these talks. But uh, I am looking well, for... No, because because uh, if we don't do re the rehearsals, then it's better because the chat is more and natural. Natural, it's natural. Okay, well... The first thing we're doing is on the 9th of January, your friends is back doing a concert for us. L.A. Castello. Ooh. Live on the 9th of January, Sunday the 9th of January, 6 p.m. UK time, 8 p.m. Romanian time, 1 p.m. East Coast, 10 a.m. West Coast, USA, Canada, and uh, 2 a.m. Philippines, uh, 3 a.m. Australia. Okay, but we actually do have people getting up at that hour to listen to you know, Tiana, for those of you who are too tired and can't get out of bed in Australia and Indonesia and, and um, all those countries like the Philippines, well, don't worry, people, we will also stream it to YouTube. But Emma, we prefer people to come to Zoom, don't we, though? Yeah, we do. And because in the actual meetings, uh, the magic is uh, there. That's the place where the magic actually begins. Yeah. And yeah. You, there you can uh, write things directly to LA. She might read them uh, in the comment section, I think. I'm not really sure how they call it's, it's them. Called, yeah, it's called chat. But I know you can do the same in YouTube, but it's interactive and yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and because... Ellie doesn't go on the live stream on YouTube to read the comments. She goes on the chat because it's easier. She sings there. Yeah, and she can also see 49 screens at the same time. And if you're kind of raising your hand, your screen will be brought forward. If you're on the camera, you're brought forward yeah. to get the interactive. And then after, at the end of every show, the actual audience, which is you, gets to interact with the artists and with us. And with myself and Emma and anybody else who may be there. And you can ask LA questions yourself, which is yes. very nice. Yes, you actually get to talk to LA or whoever the artist is. And this is going to happen throughout 2022, every second Sunday minimum. I know there's um, other people now, uh, other, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. I'm just telling you that the shows that we are doing, the sound is going to be top quality. The artists are going to be new and I can promise you quality, okay? And what you're doing by, by coming into our shows is you're actually supporting and like we said earlier, with positivity, you're helping these artists grow and hone their skills. And believe you me, to be on the show 
you're going to have to be pretty, pretty awesome. Okay. Um, and all our artists are awesome. We have 240 awesome artists. I think we've something like 2,500 artists on our books that want to be part of the Mob Music Network. Unfortunately, we don't have that room because if we did have that room, we'd need an army. Uh, we, we'll hire Jaden's army. But we do, uh, we, all our artists are family. We look after them all. All our services are free. And the shows are free. Yes, you pay nothing. What we are doing, okay, this is news, M. actually, what we are doing is we're going to allow the artist who wants to put in their PayPal link or whatever way, tip jar or whatever way they want, we're going to put that link into the, into the um, Zoom chat and we put it into the YouTube broadcast and anybody who wants to do donate can donate to the artists, okay? um so the artist gets a bit of a chance to make money but it's not about money it's free so i want to stress that free 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 to all and unlimited so don't worry you'll get your tickets okay you uh, have a lot of fun yeah so yeah and uh, um host with the most want... host with the most we've hosts with the most so yes yeah you know what's interesting we have a uh a, a, in a show for the second time, but her show was the first one I've ever hosted. And yeah. so it's going to be very special for it's me. Very special. I think yourself and LA have become friends. I know we have, I'm, I'm yeah. very, very lucky to um, be officially a promoter for LA. Of course, your sister Tiana and Jaden, and I'm very, very lucky. So I will actually persuade Jaden to do um, a live show for us this 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 soon as well. I would also I would also we've got Emma Marie going to do a show. So that's so every second Sunday at six o'clock UK time we will be doing a show on Zoom. When it's done on Zoom, it'll be broadcasted live to YouTube. Okay, um, maybe just maybe we'll be, we'll be doing more. And myself and Emma will be doing a little chat show. Work just. To, talking about doing a new show so myself and them are going to work out a new show which we probably will do every second week too and in that one it'll be myself and emma more than likely talking to artists um but kind of a more of a fun interview rather than just a straight yeah one it's moment. going to be kind of like a talk show i think you've yeah. said this already yeah and we we can we we're going to play videos for the artists and if the artist wants to sing a song they, to he or she can but it won't it's be just nice thing so stay tuned for that yes yes it won't be just all about music we could anybody who's got an art or anybody who's interesting to the public we will bring on and have a chat with and we're going to work on that together as well so um and actually that one the two of us will be hosting oh so. yeah and don't forget yeah. about the interviews done by me they're going to be done i think every second week because um what? i interview every single artist that comes uh in this shows right before i go i would also like to add don't forget about emma's youtube channel and that's also important so please yes. subscribe to the youtube you, channel you can find me ever by typing emma chili Biu, and uh chili Biu is spelled c-i-l-i-b-i-u you can find me emma chili Biu, on facebook youtube instagram uh my site but you have to put the dot com there uh as well and mm. twitter yeah the website is very important go and go and visit the website it's absolutely amazing and um, this is as i said all 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 interviews will be exclusives for emma chili Bue, even the ones i do so you won't we'll only get these uh, sort of interviews on emma's youtube channel okay uh which which eventually will be of course in our website as well because that's what i do i linked the YouTube and the website. So it's all amazing. It's all going to happen. I, I'm very privileged and honored to be working with you, by the way. I want to say that, Emma. And I'm not just Thank saying you. I'm not just I'm saying very... that I'm not just saying that for the public's eyes. I really sincerely mean that. It's a privilege to work with you. And I think actually within ten years you're going to be definitely working on um national TV or maybe even world TV because you're just you just you have a blinding personality. People are drawn to your positivity and your wonderful um work ethic and work rate and your wonderful warm heart so thank, thank you, you i'm actually very honored and privileged to be working with you so thank you for you. giving me the chance to um do what i want to do well it's a privilege and an honor
believe you me it is uh, uh, it is it is so thank you very much for, for tuning in or whatever you're doing whether you're watching this on youtube because it'll be up on youtube actually i think i will we might discuss putting it up on facebook eventually but it'll definitely be up on youtube it'll be up on emma chili views youtube um as soon as i edit it and send it to emma which well, it will be whenever Emma decides to put it up. And then, of course, 10 days later to two weeks, you can get it on the Mob Music Network. All right. Good night and God bless everybody. Thank you, Emma. Good night. Please don't forget to hit the notifications bell and subscribe.